Hey guys, my name's Christina, I'm from Arizona. Putting a hitch on your Mazda CX-5 can take you to a lot of fun places like camping, bike riding, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. So let's break this down for you guys. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Before installing the hitch, we do have to prep the underbody. We're gonna wanna remove this underbody plastic right here with two fasteners, one right here, one over here. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver to pull the push pins out of there. Before we lower the exhaust, we want to support it with our strap. We're going to use um, this center crossbar um, to help support the exhaust. Next, we're going to have to lower the exhaust. There's going to be four rubber isolators, two on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. Now that we have the exhaust supported, we can go ahead and remove the four rubber isolators using our exhaust pliers. And now we'll repeat on the driver's side. So our two attachment points on the frame wheel are gonna have tape. We're gonna have to remove them with a flathead screwdriver. We'll also have to remove this plastic clip up here. And when we're done, we're gonna be repeating the same step on the other side. Now we're ready to put the hitch in. So I'm gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one at home, it is a good idea to grab an extra set of hands as the hitch can be heavy. In the instructions, it does say to use a flat washer between the hitch and the frame rail. However, with our vehicle, the hitch sits flush with the frame rail, so we're not gonna need one. The furthermost hole, we're gonna fish wire the carriage bolts through the access hole underneath into the hitch. We're gonna be taking our fish wire through the hitch down into our access hole. On the furthermost hole, we're gonna be using a bolt with our Chronicle tooth washer, teeth side up. Over on the driver's side, we're gonna be taking our fish wire off of the carriage bolt and placing our provided flange nut onto the carriage bolt. Next, we're gonna be torquing down all of our bolts to manufacturer specification using our torque wrench with a 19 millimeter socket. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now that the hitch is in place, we're gonna to need to reinstall our exhaust onto our exhaust hanger brackets. We're gonna be using some soapy water to ease insulation. And now we'll repeat on the driver's side. Now that the exhaust is back in place, we can remove our support strap.
Now that we have the vehicle on the ground, let's get you guys some important measurements. We do have a two inch receiver from the top of the inside receiver to the floor. It's gonna be 13 inches. From the center of the pinhole to the end of the bumper, it's gonna be three and a half inches. That'll help you determine length, rise, and drop of your hitch accessories. That wraps up our install on the Mazda CX-5. Thanks guys for watching, take care. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.